Hey, pandemic survivors, you have made it to another Meaning to Live short therapy video. My name is Jet Thorpe, licensed therapist, and today we're going to go over subscriber's question. Steggy Mixtape is the subscriber. Thank you for subscribing, and also thank you for the question. Great question. Asks, hey, Jed, and it, maybe I'm getting it wrong somehow, but they say, hey, Jed, how, how, how do you get fired? How do you get fired? Something like that. I don't know. So I'm just going to roll with it. We'll answer that too. We'll just have some fun with it because why not? We have time. So right now, a lot of people losing their jobs and I get there's a, there's a rejection right there when it happens. Second, that sustenance of finances is gone. And here we are in this worldwide pandemic. So anxiety is really just shooting through the roof for a lot of people. So let me just say, Congratulations, you've hit the jackpot. And I'm saying that for two reasons. Right now, you're growing emotionally at a way faster rate than normal. It's a it's a bugger. It's true though. The more comfortable we are, the more we're growing. I'm growing too right now, believe it or not. So and again, it's not fun. It's not fun. But that's exactly probably what the sword said when it was repeatedly being heated up and pounded on to make the sword. So second, this is happening for us, not to us. And oddly, I've been fired more than once. And I started my firing career, my termination career later than most. I was in my 40s and I've been working since I was 11. I haven't been fired ever. So really like came out of nowhere. And at the time I thought, I was going to get a raise or be promoted or something. So super out of left field. But it was great. It was fantastic. Best thing, best thing in the world to happen. And sometimes you ever wonder that maybe if being fired isn't the universe's or God or the great spirit's way of urging us into a direction we've been resisting or too afraid to go. I'll tell you, when, I, when, when it happened for me, man, I learned a lot of different skills that I never would have learned had I stayed on that path that I was on. I'm looking at you billing and accounting and sales. And I've also learned that this is wild. People don't have to break rules to be fired. Sometimes, like you're experiencing now, there's this global pandemic. Looking at you, COVID-19. Other times, at the work environment, the dynamics will change. Managers, managers will change. Sometimes you'll change. Sometimes the job you were good for, you know, you grow out of it. And, you know, you're not really a good fit for it anymore. And for that, you should see or look up the Peter Principle. It's pretty cool stuff. That's another That's another thing, though. Okay, uh, other reasons to get fired. Maybe you were just a horrible employee. In which case, you probably didn't really want the job in the first place, didn't want to be there, but felt you had to be there because of the money and maybe your significant other really liked it that you had a job and blah, 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 or the security, who knows. In all cases, expected or unexpected, being terminated is an opportunity for you to pivot your life somewhere to some different angle. So how, and here's the thing, how much you grow is up to you and for the love. Don't cheat the experience with drugs in alcohol. And then the other trap that's easy to slip into is, is the whole victim stance route. And remember, anything you can say, poor me afterwards, you're in victim mode. And I know it's tempting. I know that pity card is a powerful card. Pity is power. But I promise you that whatever you get out of pity will eventually trip you up and hinder your progress. It's like a, you know, return to go card. So stay clear of playing the victim. And also when you flip that victim and feel and figure out where you're gra grateful, where the gratitude is, it'll help you to keep the next job. In the meantime, remember, you're okay you know, through all of this. Well, expectations, we are bringing those way down, aren't we? And that's So we're learning all that stuff. We're learning that good things happen to bad people and vice versa. Through all of this though, our value doesn't change. We're still priceless. And right now we're in an excellent opportunity to strengthen and sharpen up because we are the sword. You're the sword. So hope that helps Steggy's mixtape. And thanks for the question. I, I hope I answered it. So and before we end, don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, and share this if you think it might be helpful to someone. 
And very, very lastly, you can find more counseling goodness, including a blog at the site, www.meaningtolive.com. And until next time, awareness up.